Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, uh, I don't remember getting completely deafened by my headset. That is a problem that's now been rectified. Uh, when we last left off, we were making our way up the tower. The tower, so we can get a ring. The ring, so we can go down the clock hole I guess the hole in the clock um, and then we can get the item we need to get the good ending or at least set us on the path for the good ending so off camera I've actually been uh, having a little bit of a run around in the mid section of the map just to fill out a few little things uh, we also picked up some nunchucks as well which I have added the clip of that in the beginning of this video as long as I've remembered I should have remembered um, which is an item that again I completely forgot about actually but there's probably gonna be a bit of that because like I say I'm not an expert at this game I am very oh god I'm very new at this game to the point of, at the time of this recording, I haven't even completed the second part of the castle yet. Oosh. Get out of here, Spittlebone. Filthy git. With all of your nonsense. Lovely. Right, let's keep progressing. I don't know why I'm jumping around like loon when I could be using my magical powers. That. It's a scale this much quicker and we went the wrong way because of course we no holy water come back it's a sad day when you lose the holy water let me tell you come on For some reason the jump button wasn't working on my controller which um okay i'm sure that's fine Really should be using that slide, backwards slide sort of technique, but I don't really care that much, but it does make things a little bit quicker. Whoop. Really? No! Oh, oh, I mean, honestly. I mean, honestly. That works. Seems to be slightly more efficient. We're getting more Zucrons as well, which I guess every level helps. There you go, my friend. Have some holy water, just for good measure. Putting out the flame of his breath. Ooh, some holy water. Who would have known this stuff would have been so useful? Maybe I need to get a vial of this stuff for when I go into town amongst the great unwashed. Having said that, this stuff would probably make me combust. And that wouldn't be very productive now, would it? Okay. Cool. We are slowly heading towards the right direction. See, on my map, I've got it written down as... I haven't grabbed that. There's actually a couple of little areas that I need to investigate. I don't know if I haven't done them, or I just haven't written it down on my map. Could be either, to be honest. I do want to kill this thing. Because I think it's worth a somewhat healthy amount of XP. Not 100% sure. And also, there's many, many pieces of it to destroy to get some gems. At least a good chance of getting gems. Now, also, the amount of gems that I'm getting from using this sword is significantly higher now than it was when I uh, was practicing the game. I don't know why that is. I guess that's just the beauty of RNG. Now... Yeah, we want to go up to the next level because... From my notes, there are some little bonuses this way. 
So I'm kind of glad I opened up. Oh, nope. I think we need to go down one. Wait a minute. No, we need to go up one. My bad, my bad. I do love the way those guys are just kind of chillaxing. <laughs> Slumped up against the wall there. Ready to be defiled by my gem sword. Now, there should, in theory, be two little Brucey bonus areas. In fact, one is below us. But I am unaware as how to get to it. I'm guessing there is some way Can we throw a weapon. Ah, there we go. Now, let us ascend. And that is where the sword card is. Now, I definitely did get this before uh, when I was playing it off camera because I had the sword. Um, which is interesting. It's just a giant, well, sword that follows you around. Kind of like how the fairy follows us around. It's kind of powerful from what I can remember, and I can only assume that its power significantly grows as you uh, continue. But anyway, there's the sword guard. Now, I do... Ooh, turquoise. Very nice. I do... It's also... Hmm, I'm trying to work out where this one is. Um, so we need to dr hang on hang on right there is another secret and it appears that I've been a little overzealous which is fine drop down here yes okay cool so next secret through the CD loading door. And I think this, I think there's a weapon through here. You have to forgive me, I can't remember exactly what it was. Now. I don't even think it's like a super mega secret anyway. It's somewhere in the region of here. Right, Blade Master. What a dick. Have some holy water. Yeah, you didn't like that much, did you? Now. now. I don't actually know if we can get this just yet, thinking about it. Hmm. Because it is kind of like over this side, if memory serves. Son of a bitch. Come to Papa. There we go. Right, um, hmm. Unless we can use the jumping boots, perhaps, to actually get up there. That might work better. But up here, there is a broken piece. Might actually be there. Hmm. Might actually have to use the jump boots. Which, one second, I will do off camera. Because it's a little bit fiddly to actually get going. Come on. Really? So the theory is pretty standard. There we go, that works. Now this would be a lot easier if we had the combat ability. Oh, there we go, that worked. With the bat, but of course we do not. No matter. 
and there is the Holy Sword, finally within our grasp. Uh, the Holy Sword itself actually doesn't really do that much more damage, to be honest with you, but, you know, whatever, we've got it. Ooh, should we try it on these guys? Strong versus undead, and these are about as undead as it gets. All right, I mean, I don't know, actually. I would have thought these classes undead, but that doesn't seem to do a great amount of damage. Well, ooh, chopped his toes off. Okay, critical damage does decent damage, but, oh well. Anyway, let's keep going. We have a tower to ascend. Fortunately, that's back this way. Now, of course, I'd have to fall all the way to the bottom. Like a fool. But that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, save room. You know what? Sure. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I don't know what the Romans do. But we're saving in the save room. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's so haunting, like the Colosseum. The like, soundtrack is just oof, it's so eerie and dead. I suppose that's kind of the point, but you wouldn't expect that in the Colosseum, though. Alright, we're not going to fight that guy, because he's a dick. And we don't need to fight that guy. But what we do need to do is ascend. I suppose there's not even really a lot of point in fighting the uh, bat guys either. Or the boomerang guys. Now the beauty with the bat is we can just fly past all of these crows. You know how much I hate the crows. Anything with knock that knockback damage sucks ass. Do we not have? Of course not. There we go. Spike breaker. And I'm going to break all the spikes because screw those guys. They've made my life miserable in prior playthroughs. should really start calling it prior half playthroughs because, you know. Now, I am going to see what happens if we kill Simon. I'm going to drop a save state. And I'm guessing we get the bad end. Now, I haven't seen that, so it's going to be interesting. Obviously, we don't want to kill. It's not Simon, is it? I can't remember the Belmont that was right in the beginning of this game. Of course, Simon was the original. Hello, Maria. So, did you find Richter? Richter, there we go. I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here. But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. <gasps> that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. Oh, but we're not wrong. We're not wrong. We're not wrong at all. Anyway, that gives us the silver ring. So we now have the gold and the silver rings, which we can use to get the holy glasses. We need the holy glasses to see what's really going on. But, before we head off to the clock tower, I think what we're going to do is double check up here. Because according to my notes, there's still stuff up here. But, I'm fairly certain, yeah, we've got all this stuff. Either my map that I updated didn't save, Or yeah, okay. Ah, we must have just grabbed it already. It's interesting. So if this uh, con has gone as well, you know what? I'll have a investigate off camera. Let's just go down deeper, deeper underground, all the way to the clock tower, which is. Yep, further down. 
And of course, the Black Crow had to get that last kick in the balls as we were falling. As they do. You know, we can actually get this one. That's fine. I guess all roads lead to the Colosseum. Grab some money along the way. Now, there are some items, by all accounts, that we do want to grab from the shop. But I need to read up on what they are. There's some capes and some different bits and pieces that we can buy. And you know what? Let's swap back from the Holy Sword, because, you know, I'm not being funny, but I ain't that impressed. Let's go back to the Jewel Sword. Might as well try and get some loot from these bastards. Because, as I have noticed, items in the shop are incredibly expensive. And getting money in this game, well, it's a slow process, to say the least. And this should be a fairly efficient way back. Every bag of coins all goes towards the cause for the Empire. If we stop turning into a bat, that'd be great. Ooh, we do not want the knife. Take the ring. Man, they have such a satisfying death animation. The way they just kind of collapse in half, and you get that red fountain. It's just delicious. No other word for it. Okay, let's keep going this way now. We're almost where we need to be. Oh, forgot about you. You know what? I forgot. I know you're a fan of the holy water. I don't even think these guys are giving us decent XP anymore. So we're on 777, which apparently is lucky in some cultures. <laughs> yeah, not really. He's given us like nine experience. Grinding in this game uh, for levels becomes very slow, it would seem. Right. Come on. Might not be able to grind for levels, but we can grind for rings at absolute minimal damage. Well, I mean, we've got a few rings. We need to be going down. Hey, friend. Get out of here. Skellerang. That name tickles me as well. <laughs> oh, holy water. Such an efficient weapon. Now, here we are in the clock tower. So, let's use the power of our rings. Once we equip. We've got the Moonstone and the Ankh of Life, so we want the Silver Ring. And... Wow, we have 32 Zircrons. It's kind of insane, actually. Right, where's the Gold Ring? There it is. And then, as if by magic, a new way appears before us. Thirteen chimes leads the way. Now, nope, there's some goodies around here as well. Nice bit of life up, nice bit of heart up. Certainly be taking those things. And also, and I guess one could say, unfortunately, here's a save room. And that is where we're going to be leaving it today. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.